Okay, and we're back. Alright, and you'll notice that uh, I have it set to a color which is a pretty close match. I'm sure I'm going to have to tweak it. But uh, so far the software appears to work as expected. Okay, and uh, now that we've got the uh, thing here, I'm going to go and I'm going to open up the software, which runs as a system tray. It's just a simple application, no installer. Well, I, I want to take that back. I, I think it ran an installer, okay? But it does run, um, and you have the ability to change colors to anything you want, and it switches immediately, okay? I know that's hard to see, but I wanted to show the, the, the switch. But when you do that, it loses your custom color if you pick one of the regular ones. So you have to go to Other and choose the, the, the color picker, okay? That is uh, sort of the right thing. It'll get you in the right spot. If you know the RGB of your color, uh, you can obviously enter those. It's just the standard Windows color picker, okay? And now that you've seen the switch, I'm going to move the camera up just a hair. Oops, sorry. So you can see at least some of the application. Um, I'm not going to zoom in or anything else. But it basically shows it, comes up, it shows it as a, a straight application with uh, the keyboard represented. It's got a macro chooser in here. So you can set up macros with delays and all sorts of other things. Uh, it records macros. So you can actually set those up. As long as the software is running, it should be okay. I don't think the keyboard keeps those. All right. Now, um, we've got this color here. Now I want to see if something is going to happen as I expected. Okay. I want to see if it remembers it when it's unplugged. Okay. If that's, uh, you know, non-volatile. All right. Memory. So we're going to unplug the keyboard. You heard Windows gadink, and we're going to plug it back in. And it boots, and it remembers the setting. That is awesome. Okay. Um, the other uh, one I got from Monoprice, which was a, a generic uh, blue clicky with a ton of new blues, did the same thing. It, it remembers the settings, and I, I'm very pleased about that because I don't want to have to run this software. What this means, though, is that if it's set and I screw it up and I have it on like a Linux box or something like that, I'm not going to be able to reset it until I put it on the Windows box, run the application, and so forth. Um, the manual is half in Chinese, okay? But if I want to, there is a way to set some of this, okay? Not the 16 million or 18 million colors uh, without the software. Okay, you can set most things. You can set it on all the time so it doesn't blink and so forth. But you can't do the individual color changes without the keyboard or without the uh, the application, which is a downside in my opinion. Regardless, though, sixty bucks, not bad, not bad at all. So there you go. Um, it's a very solid keyboard. Uh, the tilt is about where it should be. It's a little low for, for my taste, but I think I'm going to work with it without the rubber underneath it. And uh, regardless, I consider this a, a good buy. So now it's time to remove my, uh, my really bad rubber dome keyboard and replace it with this, which means I need to string cables underneath the desk. So uh, I'm going to go do that, and you guys have a wonderful day.